Well, it may seem like uh, I'm just laid back, but really, we've done a lot of work on this house, and I wanted to share with you uh, what we've done in uh, remodeling a little house. Uh, this is a house that we bought uh, several months ago, and it's now January, and it's a bright day, and uh, I'm going to be able to get some good pictures for you uh, of this house and let you see uh, how we did it and what we are completing. Now I want to give you a little bit of a preview of what we went through before we started fixing it up. Now these are pictures that we took before uh, starting the remodeling process. We took these pictures of the yard and the outside of the property and actually it was all grown up, pretty dingy house, it was a plain Jane, had not been lived in in probably two years. Uh, we uh, bought it for $115,000. And it is typical of this particular neighborhood. But these preview pictures, these before pictures, show you what the property was like uh, as we came in. We first of all mowed it and uh, picked up all the limbs. And the very first thing we did was to put a new roof on it. And then we went inside and uh, began to give it a makeover inside. Outside you can see that there is a little fence line all the way around it, small fence because of the location. You'll see the larger fences over here on the side. These large uh, vinyl paneling here. We put in a brand new two-ton air conditioner on this side and we enclosed it also with vinyl paneling. I really expect this house to sell for $200,000, maybe $225,000. We're going to hold a bid sale uh, the weekend after Super Bowl and we've already had a lot of interest. A lot of people have come by and the last uh, bid sale that I had Approximately 200 people came by on the inspection day of Saturday and Sunday prior to the bid sale. And then we had a purchaser that bought it for $2,000 less than a very high appraisal that we had of $155,000. We bought that house for $82,500, sold it for $153,000. So these profits do not necessarily reflect a consistency either because each house is different. This was my first deck. I've never built a deck before. It turned out all right. And we wanted someone who lived here to have the convenience of coming out either of these doors and uh, putting a grill up and uh, having a lot of privacy out here. Now you may wonder what these mop and, and broom handles, but we will cut these off, paint them white, and they will be rods in the closet for hanging clothes. And here in the back, we uh, installed these beautiful French doors. And they really set off the backyard. And so you've got a wraparound uh, deck. You can step off here into a little patio. We wanted to make this room real cozy. You come into a house and it's the first thing you see, the living room. Now this already had a built-in uh, fireplace and it had been closed in. We didn't know the condition of it. We opened it up, found out that it was pretty old. And so we put in a new fireplace with gas logs. Uh, we've got marble entry there in the foyer and marble under the fireplace. These are the original uh, pine flooring uh, that was in the house and we refinished it and it uh, really is beautiful. Now these uh, blue strips don't normally stay with the house. This actually is as we're going around and painting the court around again. Remember, this is a house in progress. We're not quite through. We're about 10 days away from our bid sale. We've done most of the work. It's been painted throughout. We've already done all of the um, installing of the carpet and the marble and the tile. So this is just the finishing touches.
and we go over and over it because we want this to be a, uh, an ideal place. We want it to be a model home. Well, this is the kitchen. Kitchen's always one of the favorite places uh, for uh, the female who buys the house with her family. We uh, put new uh, door fronts and drawer fronts on all of the cabinets here, which made it quite attractive. Enclosed the water heater that was exposed. As you can see, we're not through. Uh, I'm in the middle of uh, putting some tile as a backsplash here behind the uh, counter. We did put in a new sink with a more modern faucet on it. This is a small bedroom, but it had uh, the original pine flooring, so we refinished it. And these color combinations are Judy's choice, just like on the outside. We found that these are very appealing colors. We have had a lot of people that walked in just off the street, saw our signage outside, wanted to take a look at it. All of them have been just uh, dazzled by the color combinations. They all love it. This is the master bedroom. And it's a large bedroom for the size of the house. It used to actually be two bedrooms and some previous owner uh, took out the middle wall so we decided to leave this the large bedroom and one smaller bedroom like we just came out of and a lot of people like this uh, in this particular neighborhood this is very attractive uh, my wife has chosen this particular uh, combination to go as a border piece uh, all around this room Wives and mothers really go crazy over those kind of little touches. And this is a small bathroom, but this is the bathroom that we built. And it already had one bathroom, and this is a small addition to it, which makes it, uh, believe it or not, very unusual in this neighborhood. With older homes, one bathroom per house was the norm. And to have two bathrooms makes uh, this particular house very unusual. And so we had this bathroom built in in a, a, a closet space. This was actually one closet, one half of one closet, because on the other side um, are two closets for the uh, each of these two bedrooms. So we have a closet here and a closet on the other side. Now this is the second bath, and we're just storing some things in here while we get everything ready. It's not quite complete, but it will also 